Hi there, Sarah here from Scattered Pictures Art and I'm back with a new journal to share with you today. I found this vintage purse in a little antique shop near me and I thought it was so pretty and I thought it would be perfect to put a little journal in. So, I'll show you the purse first. The other side's the same. And I've made a little boho bead to go on it. It's got some sari and some mesh fabric and eyelash trim. And some pearl beads and a little pen nib charm. And I've just added that on with a lobster cloth so you can remove it if you want. And then if you open the little purse, inside is a journal. I'll just take it out. So I've made the journal using um, the Miss Austin's Escritoire, which means writing desk in French, uh, kit that is in my Etsy shop. And I just shrank it down so that it would fit on the journal which is, let's just see, it is, oops, about four and, almost four and a half by six. And it's got some rosette trim down the spine. This is actually uh, a large tag from the kit and I just cut the top off and put it on the cover. It's got some vintage music paper, cheesecloth, a little mesh fabric, and then the cover is this really pretty pink velvet. A little floral applique there. The closure is some beautiful sari silk ribbon which matches the dress on the cover perfectly. And so if we go inside, uh, it has about 60 plus pages and lots of ephemera in here. So if we open it up, let me just let me zoom you in a bit. There we go, that's better. So the inside cover has this side pocket and what I did is I just printed out this page uh, from the kit twice and I folded it over and sewed around it and added the pocket and see. So every, all the printables in here, all the ephemera is either from the Miss Austin's Escritoire journal kit or the vintage ephemera add-on. So this is a portrait of Jane Austen, um, one of the only ones that we know of, and it, we know it was her because it was in a book that was written by her nephew about her. So that is just inside the front cover. Little mini journal card. Everything is tea stained. And there's actually a little shimmer in the tea stain. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I added a little bit of uh, Perfect Pearls to the tea water when I was staining. This is an 1813 cover from Pride and Prejudice. It's part of the Vintage Ephemera add-on. It's been all inked and tea stained. A little collaging with some vintage music paper, one of the butterflies from the journal kit, and then the cover, uh, Pride and Prejudice by a Lady. So when the book was first published, uh, it was actually published in serial form, so it was like a weekly installment or monthly installment, I'm not sure which, but it was kind of frowned upon at that time for a woman to be writing, and so they often didn't Put their names on things. So when it was first published, all it was published uh, as an author was by a lady. So that's why that's there. 
I've done um, some light stenciling and some stamping on the pages. Here's the first pocket. So here is one of the large tags from the kit. And again, T-Stain did some stenciling on the back of that. And a journal card from the kit that matches the pocket. So we've got a sorry ruffle down this page. One of the little heart embellishments from the kit. And a bulb pin with a little rose charm. There we go. And there's some very light stamping on this page of some music bars. So on this page we actually have um, a page from an uh, older copy of Pride and Prejudice that I have. And I've just folded it over and done a little collage here. So we've got vintage music paper, cheesecloth, some mesh fabric, and one of the dress forms from the journal kit. Another little applique. There's one of the tabs. <clears throat> and in that pocket is one of the ribbon cards from the kit. I just stamped at the top. There. And this is a map from the Vintage Ephemera add-on and it's actually um, from the late 1700s of the West End in London. And so it's uh, contemporaneous with when Jane Austen lived. Sorry, I think the camera's shaking a bit. There we go. <clears throat> some avocado dyed paper, again there's shimmer in that, and some vintage lace along the edge. There is a doily that I've done some decoupage on with a butterfly napkin. More tea stain page with uh, stenciling and stamping. <clears throat> Another couple of pages from the kit. So. Um, I declare, after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. That's from Pride and Prejudice. I have a little corner tuck here. And in that. And I've just used one of the mini uh, ribbon cards. And tucked in there is a Mansfield Park cover from 1814. That's in the add-on. A little smaller tag. That's Jane Austen's actual signature, so I've used that in the printable. And then there's a couple of little tea envelopes in the printable. And so I've just glued those together and inked them up and added a little tiny journal card that I've stamped on with that old fountain pen. Oh, there's a little bit of, sorry, they're just covering the staples so there's no pointy edges, and a little, another page from the kit, but indeed I would rather have nothing but tea, and that's from Mansfield Park, which is why I put Mansfield Park cover here. Another couple of tea stain pages with stenciling and stamping. Another page from the kit, if a book is well written, I always find it too short, from Sense and Sensibility. One of the corner pockets from the kit, and in there we have just a little ticket with the same quote on it. <clears throat> a small journaling card. And this is a ticket from 1809. Uh, it's requested to attend the ball at Captain Barton's Hall. So, just a little ticket for a ball. Some more stamping with the music notes and a fabric flip with some of the velvet from the cover and the mesh fabric. Another tab from the kit. Another page from the kit. There's lots of shimmer on this one. Let's see if I can get there. Camera's kind of picking it up there. So that's from the Perfect Pearls in the tea water. I usually do coffee dyeing, but I did because there's tea in this book and I'm kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> 
I decided to use tea this time, and I think I might be a convert. I really like how it came out. There's a glassine bag with some decoupage of vintage music paper and just some torn bits from one of the pages in the kit. And in here we have... This is a old ad for bonnets. And I just thought that was really cute, so I added it to the ephemera add-on. And this is a little tiny letter. It's folded Regency style, so it's t tucked up inside there, and I've just added a little wax seal. I've only attached it at the top, so you can still open this. And this is an actual, um, well obviously it's printable, but it's a letter that Jane wrote to her niece, and they used to write in backwards writing, so you actually have to read it backwards. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. Close that back up later. Another page from the kit. Stamping and stenciling. Here's a belly band. These photos are from the book uh, by Jane's nephew. And it's of Steventon, which is where Jane lived. So that's the parsonage. And that's the manor house. Okay, so they're inked up. And these uh, you can use as belly bands or as bookmarks. I chose to use them as belly bands in here. Another couple of pages from the kit. Here's a side tuck. Bachelor's Ball ticket for 1816, another tag, and another ticket. Another avocado dyed page with the vintage lace along the edge. Another doily with the butterfly decoupage. Another tab and some more stamping and stenciling. And here's the center of the signature, and I chose this spread. I thought it looked really pretty in the center because it was a continuous pattern across the bottom here. And it says, it's such a happiness when good people get together, and that's from Emma. And I just added some pearls, faux pearls, to the bottom of the strings. Another belly band. Here's, we've got Chotten Church. And an Emma book cover from 1896. <clears throat> Other side of the doily, there's also some vintage music paper decoupage on there. Avocado dyed paper, side tuck. So we've got a ticket for Vauxhall Gardens. And a dress form tag from the kit. And a ticket from the kit. Another couple of pages. This one says, To be fond of dancing was a certain step towards falling in love. From Pride and Prejudice. And here is the an altered envelope. And it's been avocado dyed. It's stamped with the music stamp, there's some collage here, vintage music paper, um, mesh fabric, uh, sorry silk ruffle, a little rusty pin, a couple of tickets from the kit, some cheesecloth, and a little applique. And on the back, you can actually, hope that, there, you can see there's some of the gilding polish, and a wax seal, a little bit of washi there, and another of the ribbon, large ribbon cards from the kit. And that is just held on with a little rusted clip. This is probably one of the most famous quotes from Pride and Prejudice. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. And so that's Mr. Darcy to Elizabeth. So, 
The other side of the glassine bag has another, a different we'll ad for bonnets. And another little le letter, and this was sent to Jane Austen. So it's addressed to her. And there's a tiny little wax seal on the back. I actually used the little rose charm that's in the book to create the seal. And I managed to fold this along the fold lines that were showing up oops, in the printable. So now let's see if I can get it open for you. Okay, so it's again, it's folded Regency style. We open it up. There's lots of inking on it. And this is cross writing, so to save paper at the time uh, that Jane Austen lived, what they'd do is they'd, they'd write the letter and then they'd turn the page and they'd write the other way. So I have no idea how they managed to read that. This is obviously smaller than it would have been, but yeah, so that's cross writing. And you'll actually see this letter in the background of some of the pages in the kit. Um, I used it when I was developing the pages. Some more decoupage, another page from the kit. Some more stenciling and stamping. <clears throat> another side pocket. So we've got dress form tag. Uh, ticket to the British Museum, 1790. And this is a double journaling card from the kit and I just created a little booklet with it, sewed some pages in. So we've got just some tea stain paper, an avocado dyed index card that I've edge punched, and then some more tea stain paper, a little fold there. So that's tucked in there. Another page from the kit. Another tab. Stenciling and stamping. Page from the kit. And here we've just got um, a one pound note from the Bank of England and a little journaling card. And that's just held on with a rusty paper clip. And on this side we have a tag and another of the little tea envelopes. It has the quote, but indeed I would rather have nothing but tea. And it has another of the little journaling cards with the fountain pen stamped on it. Just tucks in there. Other side of the doily. Avocado dyed paper with the vintage lace. The other side of the page from Pride and Prejudice with a little tab. Um, another uh, sorry silk ruffle and this one has a little whoops, heart charm. Another heart from the kit. Another pocket with a large tag. Little dress form. And a little journaling card. Matches the pocket. And here's the back cover, so we end with Jane's signature. I've added the heart with her signature here. And in the back there is... This is a painting that was thought to be done by Jane's sister of Jane. So I just added that in. This journaling card. Again, I've used the same page and just folded it over as a pocket for the back. Hmm. Another ticket and an 1853 cover for Sense and Sensibility. So that is my little Jane Austen journal and it will come with a little purse that it fits in and with the little boho bead which you can leave on the purse or add on to the journal if you want. This will be listed in my Etsy, so if you're interested, I'll include the link below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.
Bye.